Hello, students. Going back to our unit, which is the last unit here, which is the gender divide, we started yesterday with the conversation part that we had in our unit. Now, in our conversation, we met Faisal and Bahad, and through the conversation between them, we were introduced to new phrases. You can see that we have here the real talk phrases. We have to know something like the back of my hand, or you can say, you can say that again to agree with someone. Over to indicate location. You can say also for ages, if you mean that something is taking too long. And we have here to make a very big deal or a big deal about something, which means to give something more than it deserves. Now we have here the real talk and also we have the different kinds of phrases that we have here to ask or to give for directions. Uh, and yesterday we did apply, we had a kind of map, we gave a directions for a cafe. Now moving on from the conversation, we had something about different reactions. We said that Faisal and Fahad, they had different reactions towards being lost or needing help actually. And through different reactions here, we also discussed the different reactions that can happen between drivers and we had a kind of comparison between experienced drivers and also we have here newly uh, or new, uh, some people that are uh, just learners or they have just uh, started driving. Now moving on, we have here the listening part, the morning news show, which was about different strategies used by new and experienced drivers. So we have the statements here, we corrected the false statements and also we made sure that some of the statements are true. We have here the true or false exercise in the book. After that, we applied the pronunciation part in our unit. And through the pronunciation part, we had the part about intonation in tech questions. We learned that there is the rising and also falling tone in your speech, which can make your speaking have some kind of balance. Or you can also just use this kind of intonation to add the flow in your speech and to show the difference. Now, what is the difference actually between the rising and the falling intonation? We said that you are going to raise the tone here if you are not sure or actually you do not know exactly what is the answer and the opposite if you are lowering or lowering here your speech or the tone here it means that you are actually sure of the answer but you are just asking to make sure and have the exact answer so we have here the statements on page number 87 we have number one so this means that experienced drivers have better reflexes doesn't it? So you can see that I have here a higher or I raise the intonation. Number two, so then it seems neither group has a total advantage in such cases, do they? Here you can see that I lowered the intonation. So there is a difference between saying do they or do they? You can just change either to rise or to lower, depending on what is your question exactly. After that, we have here number three, that's true, isn't it? That's a bit unfair for new drivers, isn't it? So you can see the difference between number three and number four. We have the same tag question, but in number three, we said, isn't it lowering? In number four, isn't it? We made it higher. The last one we have here, so each group is the better driver in their own way, aren't they? So here we can say that we have a low type of intonation. Now we have here, this is the part that we have in the pronunciation. Now you can see generally that our three parts, which are the conversation, the listening, and also we had some kind of a combination here between them we also added the pronunciation and here the basic content was all about driving or cars now we can see here for example that the content of the listening lesson was all about driving we have here the word content 
Now, actually, the word content is going to be the first word that we have here in our vocabulary building, which is going to be part of our lesson today. So we have the vocabulary building on page number 87. You do have your extra instructions here. We have in A, you will see these words in the reading on pages 88 and 89. Match the words with their meanings. So we have the words, the vocabulary building, which we know and we are used to seeing these same words in the reading part. So since we are discussing a lot about the gender divide, as the book mentioned, we have here page number 88 and 89 is the reading. Can you guess what is the reading about? Now we know that we are talking about the gender divide in general in the unit. We had the discussion in the listen and discuss. So we have here, can you guess what the reading is about? And for sure, it is also related and connected to genders. So we have some questions. Now concerning the reading, in what ways do you think men and women communicate differently? We started the comparison at the very beginning of the unit. We do have our question, in what ways do you think men and women communicate differently? When men get together, what do they talk about? When women get together, what do they talk about? How do men and women react differently to a disagreement? So, of course, there are lots of disagreements and discussions. How do these two genders react differently to these types of disagreements? So, as we mentioned that we do have the reading on page number 88 and 89, we are going to discuss and look for the answers for the questions that we have here. So, we have in our lesson, we are going to combine also between the reading lesson that we have in the book and we are at the same time going to search and understand the meaning of the new vocabulary that we have in the vocabulary building. So we are going to start, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to read the words, read the words in the content, which is the reading lesson. We are going to look at pictures, synonyms, and antonyms until we get the meaning or understand the meaning that we have. Our learning objectives for the day, we have number one, to list the differences in gender communication. Number two, to scan for information and words. Number three, to answer questions. Number four, to enumerate the main ideas in the passage. Number five, to give the meaning of new vocabulary from the content, pictures, and examples. Number six, to establish the meaning of new vocabulary in relation to definitions. Number seven, to state the definitions. And number eight, to form sentences using the new vocabulary. So you can see that we have a lot of objectives that we are going to uh, apply within our lesson, inshallah. We have, first of all, the words that we're going to take a look at, which are the vocabulary building words. So just to take a look at the words, you can open your book. We have here the words. Number one, we have the word content. Number two, convey. Number three, feminine. Number four, intimate. Number five, literal. Number six, masculine. Number seven, species. And number eight, witness. Now we have these words, you may be familiar with some of these words, and just in case, we are going to read the meanings here. So if you do know some of these words, you can relate and match. If you do not, we are going to learn within the lesson. We have A, of or relating to women or girls. B, to observe an incident. C, emotionally close. D, subject matter. E, which is to communicate by statement or suggestion. 
F category or a type of living thing. G concerned with facts only. H of or relating to men or boys. Now we do have our vocabulary now with us. Going to the reading part that we have here, we have the first question, how many paragraphs are there? So you can open your books on the reading that we have here. And just to take a look, you will find that we do have nine paragraphs. Now in these paragraphs, what is each paragraph about? This is something that we know or we will know actually from the topic sentence. And the second question, what will each paragraph tell us? So there is a kind of message or information that we have in each paragraph that we will outline. So moving on, we have here the questions that we have in the book. We have the after reading questions. Now we are going to answer these five questions within our discussion in the reading. So let's start. Now we have here in the first paragraph, before we start, you can see that there is a small building here referring to the vocabulary building that we have. Now one of the words mentioned is the word species. So before we start answering the questions that we have here or to just read what is the paragraph about, we are going to see the meaning of the word here, species. So you can see that we do have animals, different types of animals. You can see that we have here wild animals. We have insects, fish, and birds. Now here, these are different types of species as well as human beings. We are people, we are also a type of species. So generally, we can say that we have here different species live in all parts of the world. We have here, it is of course, a classified as a noun, and we can say mainly that creatures, humans, animals, and plants, they are all considered species. Now moving on with our same paragraph here, we have the topic sentence, which is the difference in the ways that men and women communicate, and this communication can be sometimes difficult and confusing as we have here. Now we have the differences between men and women from the topic sentence that we know that there are some differences. And also we can add, what are these communication differences and what is their cause? So we do know that there is an idea about differences. We are going to see from the introduction paragraph here throughout the other paragraphs, what are the differences that are mentioned and what are their causes. So we have basically the first idea is going to be the differences between men and women. Here we have two words for the vocabulary building. We have the word intimate and also we have the word convey. Now here, let's just read. Research shows that women use communication as a way of growing closer to people and establishing intimate relationships. So we know that it is related to relationships in general. And in the other part, we have your men most often use language to persuade, argue, convey facts, and demonstrate knowledge. We know that we have here convey facts. So looking at the meanings, we have here the word intimate. I can say, for example, I love my car. I take really good care of it. When it comes to my car, I feel very intimate. Now, we mentioned in the reading passage that there is a type of relationship, intimate relationships. And here you can see that I have the example, I love my car. Now, moving back to the idea of relationships, we can say also family relationships are special. They are intimate and strong. So we have here, intimate is an adjective I am describing. And at the same time, the synonyms can be friendly, close, and familiar. We have the other word, the word convey. Now you can see that I have different boxes. They are moving from one place to another. And I have some kind of delivery that is being delivered. Now, what is the um, relation here with the word? How can I connect? We have an example. I care a lot about environmental health. 
On social media, I always send posts which convey health matters. So I am using my platforms, my social media, to convey my ideas or the um, advices that I can give about health matters. So just connecting between the boxes and the delivery and giving messages, I do know that something is transferred from one place to another or moving from one to another. Now, another example, we have social media conveys different ideas. Some can be useful and some are not. So here, from the examples, we know that we are dealing with a verb and the synonyms can be to carry. You are carrying out your ideas or whatever you are uh, delivering to the other side. And we have here also the word transfer. Now moving on to the paragraph number two, we have here the basic or the topic sentence. One basic reason men and women have such different ways of communicating is that they see the purpose of communication differently. So here we have the idea and actually we have the question, what do women see as the purpose of communication? What about men? So we are talking about the purpose or the, what is the aim of communication? What is the different view that we have here between men and women? Now our answer, women use communication as a way of growing closer to people and establishing intimate relationships, as we mentioned before. On the other hand, meanwhile, men tend to see the goal of communication as accomplishing a task. So this is going to be our second idea we have here, purpose of communication. Now here in this paragraph, the topic sentence is going to be, although men do not tend to use communication to achieve closeness, they have their own way of bonding. We understand from the beginning that this is special for men. So we have here the second question, how are men most likely to bond with others? Now we can find the answer here. Now in one study, 75% of the men surveyed, surveyed said that their most meaningful experiences with friends came not through talking, but through shared activities. So how do they bond together as men? They bond through activities. And we have something or a story mentioned about a man here, Javier Morales, who mentioned how he used to bond with his father. Now we have in number three, the idea how men communicate. Here you can see that we have three words in the vocabulary building. We have the word content. We have also feminine and we have masculine. So let's just see the words first. Now we have the word content. You can see that there is a kind of subject here and this person is either writing or we can see that another person can read the content like we are doing the reading. We are reading the content. So we have here the word content. We can say that as we mentioned, the content of the listening lesson was all about driving. We have different ideas and different messages when we read quotations or when we are using real talk. We know that there is content. There is something that I mean for other people to understand. The content people receive from others may be important and effective. So from these examples, we know that the word content is a noun and also we can add that it is the meaning or the amount of substance. Now we are talking about the genders. We are talking about how or what is the purpose of communicating between these two different genders. Now since we are talking about genders, we can just imagine someone buying a car. Now when people go to buy a car, this car that they are going to buy it can be different depending on the gender. So what kinds do you think the two genders prefer? So it is a stereotyped idea that ladies would prefer the pink car and the males or the men in general, they would prefer the green car. 
So as I mentioned, remember the word stereotyped we have here? This is a kind of stereotype idea. Now, we have the two words that are related to the pink car and the green car. We have the word masculine and we have the word feminine. So we can see that we have a lot of items that have the impression or the idea or actually give the impression that these are for men. And we have the other picture which shows that we have objects or items that are special for ladies. So we can say that we have here feminine and masculine. That new shop sells feminine products, so we know that feminine is an adjective. It is used for humans or things. And we have here, especially for females. Now we have here, the ties are a kind of masculine accessory. It is also an adjective, the word masculine, also used for humans or things. And we have here, it is used for males. Now, going back to the paragraph here, we can see in paragraph number four that the topic sentence, the content of what males and females talk about, tends to be different as well. We have our third question. We have how does the content of men and women's talk tend to differ? We can see the answer that feminine talk tends to focus on feelings, relationships, and people. Masculine talk tends to focus on sports, the economy, and facts. So you can see that there is a difference between the type of talking that feminine and masculine uh, conversations have. We have the fourth idea, the content of what males and females talk about. Now we do have our fifth paragraph, the topic sentence, women talk to explore problems, but men do not. Instead, men talk to fix problems. We have our fourth question, how do men and women approach problems differently? Now we can see that as we mentioned in the topic sentence, that women talk to explore the problem, but men talk to solve the problem. And we have here a story that Janet West mentioned about how she and her brother had the problem and the different points of views that they had. Now moving on, we have the fifth idea, exploring problems. We have a word here in the vocabulary building. Now you can see that we have here the word witnessed. Now from the content that we have here, that we have here, Kumi has witnessed this many times in her house. She had witnessed something. Now we can say that we have here the word witnessed, like this guy here, he witnessed an accident. Or we can say that this man talking to the policeman is a witness. So we understand that we have here witnessed used twice. Now, as an example, I am very careful because every day we witness accidents all over the world. We can also say that we witness changes, so they do not have to be something as a crime or an accident. We can say generally that we witness changes in the world every day, so they can be positive changes. We can see all around us that things are changing to the better. So we have here the word witness. It can be used as a noun or as a verb. We have, it is used basically, of course, as a noun for humans and as a verb for actions. It means to observe or to see. Now, going back to our paragraph, we have here the topic sentence. Another way in which men and women differ is in the way they listen. So we have here in this paragraph, we are talking on how people actually listen and how they can divide their attention and, or distribute their attention, actually. And we have here also a story mentioned about ways that people listen. Moving on, we have here the fifth idea, the way they listen. We have also a word here, which is, which is the word literal. Now, in the vocabulary building, we have passed by the word literal. I mentioned this example before. I said that I love my car. I take really good care of it. When it comes to my car, I feel very intimate. We have the word literal here. We can say that I feel intimate in the literal sense of the word. 
I mean that I love my car and care about everything concerning it. So we know from the letters here that there is another meaning or the content is different. So what does literal mean? Let's have another example. Now when I say it's a small world, if I know someone who knows someone else and I say that it is a small word, a world, we have here, it is a small world is not a literal phrase. It doesn't mean exactly. So when you say that I have something or I'm saying something literally, I am describing it. So we have here an adjective and it means the original or the basic meaning. So if I say that it is a small world, I am not speaking literally, I'm just giving a kind of phrase. Going back to the paragraph, we have here the topic sentence. Research has shown that these communication differences can be partially explained by the different ways in which the male and female brains are structured and wired. Now we have here the last question in the book. What causes men and women to communicate differently? So you can see from the underlined part here, and we can add that the answer is male and female brains are wired differently and men and women are raised to behave differently. So there is a relationship between how people are raised and how do they behave. So this is going to be our seventh idea that we have here. Now we have the idea of how the brain is structured and wired. We have number eight, the topic sentence. Research has also shown that the different ways that boys and girls are raised has a significant impact on how they communicate. Adding also another part here that we have showing the raising impact that raising has, or it does have actually on um, both genders, either girls or boys. Now our last paragraph that we have here, we have the topic sentence that shows that while the differences in the way men and women communicate can sometimes cause confusion, these differences are also what help maintain a balance in communication. Now we can see in our closing paragraph here, so although this communication or the difference can cause confusion, it also has a type or a kind of balance between the types of communication between the two genders. So moving on to our last idea, we know that there is a kind of balance between communication and of course the communication is between male and female. Now we have the complete paragraph outlined here. We can see that we have here the different parts mentioned we did answer the questions that we have in the book, which, is, uh, or which are the after reading. Now going back to our vocabulary building part, we have the exercise. We did explain all the words. So just to match, we have the word content. Now, if you see the meanings that we have read before, you can see that the word content is related to D, which is the subject matter. We have convey, now convey, as we had the message or types of messages. We have E to communicate by statement or suggestion. Feminine is very clear. We have here A, which is relating to women and girls. Intimate is something emotionally close or a feeling actually. We have literal, number five, which means here G, concerned with facts only masculine which is h relating to men or boys species f category or type of living thing and the last one number eight witness is of course we have here b to observe an incident or it can be the person him or herself so we have covered the vocabulary and the reading Remember always to relate and to connect to your examples. Now we have here different pictures. I will, inshallah, mention these pictures in the next lesson and relate them to the words that we have in the vocabulary building. So you can see that we have here these different pictures here just to give you an idea about the words. Our outline for the day, we have the first part, which is about, of course, the 
vocabulary building, we recognized the words, we called some of the meanings that we already know, we understood from the content and the pictures as well. We connected with other words and we have, of course, the synonyms. We also connected to the definition and we are going to relate and you can now relate these words to your personal ideas and experiences. In the other part, we had the reading lesson. Now, in the reading lesson, we explored the idea about communication between genders. We listed and we had our complete graph here to show the paragraphs and what are they about. We searched for the main ideas in each paragraph and at the very end, we had the idea all evaluated and we answered our questions. So we have here, this is the, uh, the reading lesson and the vocabulary. This is our lesson for the day. Be prepared and connect the words to your own ideas, which is going to be our assignment for the day. We will complete in the next lesson, so be ready.